just like when Trump wins in November, they're going to try leaving the union. <laughs> okay, you know? I'm serious about this, guys. Do you guys want to place a bet on who's going to win this election? Because I'll put $100 down on Biden. Yo, you'll, you'll bet that Biden will win. Yeah. Yeah, um, you guys want to take me up on that? Mm, why, I, why do you think that? I I just got a gut feeling that he's going to win it this time. Yeah, I think I'll, Trump I'll is it. fucked right, up. What are, the, what are the odds? What, are, what odds are you playing? My odds are $100 to the winner. Yeah, whoever wins $100, but that person has to win. It can't just be like one of them dies. <laughs> like, it, it, All right, well, so what, what, if, what if, if Biden wins, I give you $100. And if Trump wins, you give me $100. Right, wait, but let's, the, let's wait until election? Um, the uh, inauguration to see who's actually going to, you know, take the mantle. Or, yeah, we is make it the, bet? the electoral college? Does it matter if the electoral college has to vote no, on No, no, no. Here, here's how I'll do it. Uh, when is uh, inauguration? January 20th? Something like that. Wh- whoever gets inaugurated on whatever day, that's uh, the winner. So we'll, whoever loses has to pay out yeah, one or three months from now. Yeah, yeah. But my question is, uh, okay. are you talking about a legitimate election? Because obviously the Democrats I'm are I'm talking to about who gets inaugurated. Who yeah, like it doesn't matter mm-hmm. if, if this is all a bunch of tomfoolery and – uh, these are a bunch of elite pedophiles just right, playing right, right, little games this? with us, the pawns. Whoever I'll, I'll wins the presidency. I'll go in on this, and I'll bet third party that neither of them become the, the, the president. Okay. And you're going to do that for 100 Yeah, sure. So if but, Biden I mean, wins, well, I get 200 bucks, and then I guess Rusty gets 100 from you also? I'm just saying, uh, my point is, what I'm, <laughs> what I'm saying is no one gets inaugur- inaugurated as the United States president. Yeah, okay. I guess I'll do that. So if no one wins, if neither Biden nor Trump <laughs> wins, then well, uh, no, gets inaugurated. No, 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 the Democrats are going to win. Then we both the Democrats are going to win. Then we both owe Reactor a hundred dollars. Yeah. Now if yeah, Trump yeah, no, wins, no, no, no. So, so you two yeah, owe me a hundred dollars each. I right. Like and I, I need and to if clarify Biden this, wins, though. you both owe me a hundred dollars. Okay. Biden is going to win the election. But because <sighs> because they're going to cheat, there's going to be a war, and dude, this is some in January. Man. What are you doing? There won't be an inauguration. Wait, but okay. if if there's no war and and both uh, factions decide to split evenly and just separate the country in half, if that and happens two and there's two different countries, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Okay, yeah, that works. Oh That's yeah, not gonna fucking that, happen. That ten to one. Your money would be no good. <laughs> yeah, for real. I'd have to give you like monopoly money at that point. Well, who do you think is going to win? Because we have a bet going. Uh, I <laughs> and I, I'd like to hear Monkey's take on this as well after this debate. But who do you think, if you had to bet a hundred dollars on it, would win this election? I personally would bet on one Donald J. Trump. Okay, so that's what I did. I I have a hundred dollars saying that Trump will win, and uh, just a hundred. Yeah, and that and that what we did a hundred. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I have a hundred bucks. Uh, it's not on who will win the election. It's on who will get inaugurated on January right, 20th. Right, yeah. And my money's on Biden. Uh, Rusty said Trump and Reactor said, no uh, I think c- civil war will break out and money <laughs> no, will be just, worthless just anyway. Indecision. So it doesn't matter. Well, I don't know. I mean, so uh, uh, Simeon Jimmy, uh, do you think that after this debate tonight, um, did that change any chances you think of one candidate winning no. the other? I think this debate could have never happened and the votes would be exactly the same. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, probably. At this point, like 30 million people have already voted. So it's a pointless. Like, I just watched it because it's entertainment. <laughs> well, we're having a, a big contest or a, a bet on this podcast about who's going to win. Who do you think will be inaugurated next year? Joe or Trump or other option? It is clear that Donald Trump will be re inaugurated. As I've been saying since Damn. the middle of 2018. So I'm the only Joe head on this whole show. The only one who doesn't follow politics. Things that- <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys are going to have real, you'll be eating crow, you'll got some egg on your faces, it'll be a fucking birdbath debauchery all over you. When I, I am, when I win the, what, the $400 <laughs> from you four knuckleheads. <laughs> wait, wait, now, have you seen, have you seen a now? Biden rally? 
It doesn't matter. Nobody I, he, Joe's going to get inaugurated whether they cheat or not. I don't give a fuck. He's yeah, getting inaugurated. Yeah, no, and you motherfuckers cheated, yeah. are giving me money. And I'm going to, if, if Trump won't give me my 1200 I'll take no, the 400 no, no. from you guys. A lot of you guys seem to have some very suspicious and ominous uh, uh, future predictions. You know, we have Amp who thinks he needs to hide in a bunker and Reactor thinks there's going to be a civil war. Could you guys, who have very creative and political minds, uh, paint us a picture of like the worst case yet possible scenario oh, okay. that you see happening yeah. to this yeah. country? I already know the worst case. If Biden wins, the worst case scenario is Biden and his elite friends are going to kill off 80 percent of the human population because the poor are obsolete. <laughs> they don't need poor anymore. They have automation. Right, so they're going to kill them all. You think off. they're going to kill eighty percent of 80%. people? Eighty percent. This is the worst okay, case scenario. And a- what's yours? I need a realistic one. You said worst case. Um, realistic worst case. This is realistic. <laughs> well, you know, during- you want- no, it's fucking not. All right. Well, during that debate, I was starting to sweat when creepy, disgusting, dilapidated Joe Biden was looking me in the eye and telling me how he was going <laughs> to touch my penis with <laughs> Biden care. Creepy, disgusting. I don't want Joe Biden to care for anything involving my life and now he's especially he's, not he's your penis like, <laughs> you, you you're gonna have family dead around the table <laughs> and i'm gonna kill him because i'm joe biden and i'm gonna use biden care to touch your cock just like i touched all those children <laughs> okay so uh, hold up, hold up, wait a second. 80 percent of people will die no and you didn't let me finish jo- you didn't joe let me biden finish will personally give him a hand no job. so look so look they're gonna need they're gonna want they're not gonna want to kill off 80 percent of the population because of global warming they're gonna tell him Everyone, it's because the global warming, we have to get rid of all the, all the humans or else we all die. So all the liberals are going to kill themselves and then the conservatives <laughs> are going to form militias and then the elites are going to carpet bomb them and then soak up all the wealth of the people they killed. And then the the few poor people that are still alive will just kind of be slaves. They'll just be the, the new proletariat. Yeah. Okay. And what's the worst case scenario if Trump wins in your mind? Uh, worst case A scenario utopia? is uh, the Democrats assassinate him. Yeah, so who did you vote for there, Em? I voted for the Green Party. He threw his vote away. Okay. Who's running on the Green Party It's a two-party system. It's like some guy named Howard Howie something. You don't even know the name of the guy you voted for? (laughs) What what more do you need to know? Talk about an uneducated voter. Come on. They made the party green. I envision an America where everyone is green. Everyone is judged (laughs) solely by the color of their skin being green. (laughs) If you want to see a complete meltdown when Joe Biden wins the popular vote and the Electoral College, go follow Reactor on Twitter. Uh, well, Dude, I don't you think know you're going to fucking melt down like a, a Stacey Karen bitch. No, I was just going to sur- I'm just going to go into survival mode. All self-awareness will be shed from your being yes, and you'll be no, like, I but can't I'm still believe logical. it. It no. was his turn to win again. <laughs> no. If, if it, Biden wins, in the I'm going to go silent. No, uh, I mean, it's my boy. cheated to help Biden. It's my boy Howie Howerson, the Green Party. It's time to rise up. <laughs> yeah. Just you wait. Vote for Biden. The Green West Party's going to win. They're going to be Green right. Party's going to win this year. But not like what Joe Biden is going to do when he touches my penis. This theme that M keeps bringing up is that this entire debate, he couldn't stop thinking about Joe Biden. Uh, touching and sucking his penis. <laughs> what What is your opinion on the election? That's what we all need to know right away. Uh, I I think it was one hundred percent legit, uh, and just like all the <laughs> all, just like all the media is reporting, there is zero yeah. evidence of any voter fraud ever. It's very rare. The experts say. Reactor's been having a really shitty week. Well, not really. I mean, well. I mean, I mean, you, you got banned shitty? off of Twitter. You oh, wasted yeah, yeah. election day flying round trip for a guy who lost. I mean, it, no, I and now you're you're out a hundred bucks. It sounds like you've had a shitty week. Wait, wait, were you you're flying places? He flew to I, Pennsylvania I flew to cheat the vote, and then no. they lost in Pennsylvania no, anyway. Not in Pennsylvania. I flew to New Jersey because that's where I live. Oh, let's just say what we've seen as of today uh, we should address the elephant in the room that we made a 100 dollars bet and we still don't know who's going to win because it's about who gets inaugurated and mm-hmm. right now it's not looking i good mean for civil Biden. civil war might break out reactor might still win this thing well also a lot of things could happen because uh i mean fucking just because the news is saying someone won doesn't yeah mean that's shit. hilarious is if everyone remembers the election 
Well, I guess it was only about 20 years ago at this point, but uh, between... That's before our fans were born. You know, between uh, um, Bush and Al Gore, it, it went on for like an entire fucking month of yeah. just recounts and contesting the original counts. And then it completely flipped because everyone said, you know, uh, right off the bat, they said uh, Al Gore won. And realistically... He probably did win. I think it was a lot of fucking shady shit that was going on that allowed it to somehow turn around to Bush winning. Now let's give a round of applause well, to the Green Party, my boys. But you single <laughs> gravity cost uh, Al Gore enough votes in the swing states to <laughs> result in a George W. Bush victory. If you subtract uh, the Democrat cheating from every election in U.S. history, Republicans like Democrats probably never won a real election. They, so you're saying, yeah, Democrats <laughs> never Democrats, win. They never won an election in history. Oh, and you know what party doesn't cheat? So, the Green Party, baby. We <laughs> yeah, all clearly, because the right. they can't win shit. Yeah, yeah, I screenshotted something that Emp said, and now he's pretending he didn't say it. <laughs> yeah, you inspect Element in a tweet of mine and then posted it, and all these fucking retard idiot followers of mine are just spamming me the thing now that say? Biden won. And saying, oh, <laughs> look at what you, t- look at oh. what you tweeted him. You just really completely. think it's unrealistic that at three in the morning, M. Lemon would tweet about how Dude, he's going to quit veganism? It's not, it's not even written like how I compose tweets. It's well, you call them old so, man Biden. That sounds like you. What did the old tweet say? Old man Biden? It said, if old man Biden wins the election, I'll quit veganism and start Maybe making YouTube poops Biden. Biden. again. It's Maybe not going to happen. Maybe dilapidated zombie Biden. Maybe yeah. sucking his soul out through my eyes because he's a ghoul from the fucking underworld Biden. All all I'm saying is you are accusing me of fraud and I think it's disgusting and uh, improper and immoral. That's a real tweet that you posted and I screenshotted it before you deleted it. Yeah, it's a real tweet that has no fucking evidence or existing because you deleted it as soon as biden yeah. won you can't prove you yeah it was it. up for a year and then there's no one replying to it and no evidence <laughs> of it actually existing on any cash or search <laughs> engine well the times they are a change and and folks we got some people on this show who may or may not owe me one hundreds of dollars this is a time uh for unity and um you know coming together and so I, I think that we should maybe set aside all our little petty bets that, you know, kind of uh, <laughs> okay. between us and, and yeah. come yeah. together as one. And I just want to say uh, I was wrong to think that the United States wouldn't elect a Satanist pedophile as the president. <laughs> and, a- and alleged. You were right. You were, no, I'm glad you could admit allegedly. your mistakes. And hopefully you will have the, the monetary wherewithal to admit to it as well. Oh, Florian, yeah. you think that Trump was a satanic pedophile? Yes. Okay. You, so everything Trump says is a lie. And Trump sure. tried to do a coup, a, a coup right? Well, right? so. And, and do you want to bet money on that? If, it, if it's ever... If it's <laughs> ever found trying out. to make some money off of this shit, uh-huh. I mean, might as well. If it's ever found out, <laughs> he's within already. The next, ne- I mean, when the next you flew days, out to vote, so what? You're like negative eight hundred dollars from like this 200. election so far. Yeah, but then 200. you have to pay me two hundred. That's doubling it up. D- does yeah. he still? Ha- does he still have money? Is he gonna be good for this? <laughs> it, it, in his trailer park, is there still like some kind of money? Gentlemen's bet, okay? Because I uh, yeah, reactor I'm gonna, I'm gonna, lives in uh, Chicago. Oh, okay. Uh, did you notice how? Many, did you notice how many times the uh, Capitol being uh, raided? The politicians like Pelosi and others, or even at the inauguration, they referred to it as their temple. There's a reason for that. <laughs> no, I'm not even joking. No, they no. say these things so obviously, and people are conditioned to not listen. It, to drive you fucking nuts. Let me, let me try. <laughs> okay, so when when you look at documents that that give you the impression that children are being held prisoner and being harvested, it even says disposal date when they become 12 years old on this document. Do oh, wow, to that when they're too old? Damn, this yeah, is because, so sinister. I guess, wow, it's all like, terrible. The the theory, or and, I, and, I don't actually know. And the, the blood, they're always but harvesting the, idea, the blood because they're vampires. Yeah. Oh my god, adrenochrome. It, it's, it makes so much <laughs> sense, yes. I mean, the fact that it has adrenochrome in it makes, it, it just makes sense. I mean, how are they going to live forever if they can't take children's blood? It's, it's so true. Yeah, the, what is, what the, is the adrenochrome? Idea, I'm stupid. The idea is adrenochrome, I don't even know why they want it. I know... It's a meme. No, no, I know oh. people have done it. You can buy it. You can buy it online. It's completely legal in the United States. Uh... Yeah, because it's fake. 
Yeah. So I, I, <laughs> I've read stories about people who took it and they said that it gave them a slight euphoria, but it was stupid. So I don't really understand why they would take it. But the, well, the idea well, why is do you get it from children? when you when because when you torture a child who's between six and 12 years old, uh, you have to torture go- as well. Yes. Damn. Yeah. Their, their adrenaline the goes blood. throughout their body. Oh and if you God. drain some of their blood while the adrenaline is in their blood, you get adrenochrome and you can harvest it from the blood. Man, man that's so so stupid. Do you really think that there's people out there <laughs> torturing kids just so they can harvest their blood? Well, like actual <laughs> vampires? Is this it? Is this? Are you just Alex Jones part two? People See, you're, you're telling me I'm crazy. And harvesting yeah, I know. Their blood the for all of humanity. Yeah, and, and you think it's crazy. The, You've been convinced to ignore anyone who tries telling you that it's being done. Yeah, you don't if they say children if might they're be talking tortured. about adrenochrome, yeah. Why on okay, earth would you yeah. want the blood of the children? How, you really think it has some magical properties? <laughs> you really think they're going to be vampires? It, it, doesn't it allows them to walk in the children. daylight, is it? Yeah, people if, have done that in the past. They've they've thought that exact same crazy thing and tortured children and, and drained yeah, their blood. Like, it's a cult. These people aren't sane. They believe in Satan. They think Satan's real or some shit, and they do rituals. Well, like, good you thing really you're the, think... the only sane one who can point out all this horrible shit. Ah, it's it's really good that you're here. Okay. Yeah, I, I wish you would have brought this stuff up before uh, Trump lost. That would have been really interesting. No, because... Like, I don't know, a month ago? <laughs> no, no. It's only when when Trump loses and you need something new to talk about. Let's pull out no, the, the adrenochrome the idea, the idea conspiracy. Is... I mean, should we? Can we move on to something that's a little more concrete of a topic? Like when you guys are, I, all three of you owe me a hundred dollars after this hey, election. I, no, so I don't owe you shit. I, I, I already yeah, yeah, paid so you. My bet was. Yeah, Florian already paid me. When are you guys going to okay, pay? Right, break, yeah. break down all the bets that we made. Yeah, I just want to be clear. My bet, my bet was that uh, that nobody would well, be elected on the twentieth, and I was wrong. Right. And Rusty bet that Trump would be inaugurated on yeah. the 20th. He was wrong. So I was correct with my Biden pick. So you both but, owe me $100 from but that. Rusty That's bet, bet me number one. That Rusty bet me that Trump wouldn't win on the 20th. So I owe him $100. Yeah. So I'm I'm breaking even with all this. <laughs> like, cause, and then cause after I, the, the insurrection at the Capitol, Florian bet me that what did you bet me that I beat you on, Florian? You hey, I, I, I said that there's a small chance that Trump might might still take power. Okay, and I, and I had a south. Uh, you would have paid me ten thousand, but I only had to pay you a hundred if, if right. If Biden I took won. that bet. Do you, hey, do you want to do that bet? It's already too it's late. It's too late. I, I already. No, 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 it's I, over. No, no, the inauguration a, happened. Ten thousand for a hundred on on something like uh, like Biden being a pedophile. Biden being a pedophile. I'll pay you 100 right now. Everyone knows about that. 10,000 when I'm right. That's that's Uh, old news right there, isn't it? Do you really? How crazy do you think I am? Do you think I'm really crazy? Or I, 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 I mean, I, I don't think the really idea, lying. the, I think reactor, I don't think you're crazy. I think some of the things that you accept as source materials can be crazy and that you might not be using your smartest brain when you read some of these things. Mm. So my question would be, if, if we're doing the Biden is a pedo bet, what does evidence look like? Because if it's something that you found on 4chan, I don't think I'm going to accept that for my $10,000 bet. Like, like, I mean, like, what I mean, like is videos, real evidence? Videos of, of, Joe Biden torturing children in a in a group. <laughs> You're gonna that, find that, that? If that exists, you would never see it. Why? Why would you never see it? Oh man! So, so that's the, the bet you want to make is that a video like that will come out. Uh, B- by hmm. when? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but it's, I know. It, I know Trump dude, had access gonna be, to to everything. It's just going to be uh, some blurry ass video where you can't see anything, and he's going to claim, "Oh, I can tell it's Biden. <laughs> Look no, at it." No, see, oh. well, you're, conf- you're confusing. You're confusing. The media is going to say, "Oh, these aren't real. They're all deep faked, and don't pay any attention to them." And you're going to be like, "Yeah, they said it's not real. They're all deep faked, and I shouldn't pay any attention to them." Yeah, so it's just going to be correct? some blurry shit. That's it. I, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if it is faked? You you want the media to believe it? <laughs> just you are look. conditioned. It's so simple. Like if they if they mention child blood and adrenochrome, <laughs> they're insane. It's it's simple. Like wh- yeah. who's gonna uh, drink blood? Do you, you think blood tastes good? Use your hand. So, so yeah. So like basically, if you dress up like a <laughs> if you dress up in a gorilla costume, a, a gorilla clown costume, and break into people's houses and kill their children, okay. and, and then really? and we've be been like, over this. Oh my god! The bed segment, clown. please. No, dude. Biden's gonna wear a gorilla costume. That's how, that's how he's no, gonna make my it. Is, my oh no, my we god! Already, just it's we absurd, we already talked about this. I just want to know when you guys are paying me. Well, 
you know what happens when you go on dialysis with a, a an eighteen year old and you're ninety years old? What's dialysis? No like if you if you have a if you have an eighteen year old's blood running like connected to your veins and you're 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 putting their blood into your body, do you think you'll feel younger? I mean, no. you have a chance of getting AIDS. I wouldn't risk it. You don't think you'll feel younger? They actually do this. They hire eighteen year old men, like uh, the CEO of Google will pay an 18-year-old guy to eat perfectly healthy and exercise all day, and then he gets his blood. How this does that work on like an actual cellular level? Uh, I don't know, but the youthful blood uh, makes them healthier. Yeah, especially if you uh, torture to them, apparently, huh? Damn. That's when they get the adrenochrome. Yeah. Well, monkey, the, monkey, the, the, right now, I'm about to hit continue uh, to send you through PayPal $100. Oh shit! Finally, somebody pays up around okay. here. A so, Florian, <laughs> I I already and, and, I'll, and I'll pay you in a couple days because I have to pay a bunch of other bets first. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna. Do you turn know how around. much I'm gonna make from this election? I'm gonna make the fourteen hundred that Joe Biden sends me. I got three hundred from you, three idiots, and then Aggie said he might give me a hundred too. So I'm I'm fucking rich. His middle name is pretty gay. What is it? Robinette. It definitely is. Huh? Robinette. Nice. Woman. Robinette. Yeah. You know Trump's middle name? Wait, Rusty, last John time James? we talked about middle names on this podcast, you gave me and Reactor a real hard time. <laughs> what, 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 what was I saying? Uh, I like, there was an episode with just me and Reactor, and we were like comparing our middle names, and you commented, oh, wow, comparing middle names, podcast oh, of the year, guys. <laughs> so <laughs> fucking funny. I wasn't trying to turn and then, this and into you're a pulling this shit. segment. <laughs> I was just, don't and uh, thank you guys for the money. Well... I mean, Reactor, I'll thank you one day, hopefully. Yeah. But uh, Rusty, Sooner or later. Florian, Eventually. thank you so much. Of course, Big money. Of course, I lost fair and square. I'm fine. I mean, I, I did not want to spend $60 to play Call of Duty online for a year. But now I think uh, I think I might make that purchase. I don't know. <laughs> if you want to find me, I'll be on Modern Warfare. And we all sang the devil's song inside.